Okay, guys, so I have repackaged my wine, my experiment, right? And I've decided I'm only going to keep the lid on one of them. I'm even going to leave one that has a busted uh, balloon. I think that'll be okay. I'm just risking one bottle. But all of the other bottles, as you can see, will have a balloon. And so there's going to be a room for gas. So if gas comes up, it's going to come up through here. There's a little sliver here. We could come up. There's a little sliver over here. I really would have preferred it more toward the center like this over here. But there's more room here. Uh, this one is a little to the edge. Maybe I'll try to move that a little closer to the edge to let the air come up. The air is up here, so the air could come up, and the air could come up through here. See? It's not in the center, but, I mean, this one over here, it's okay. It's in the edge, but it's enough room that the whatever is going to come up, it'll come up through here. And down here, okay? And down to here, and it'll travel, right? So, uh, when I was making it initially, before it became wine, I was taking a chance, right? Part of it is because I was lazy, right? It never filled the balloon anyway, so I don't expect the balloons to be filled. If it never did, it's not going to. What's going to happen is it's just going to keep fermenting, okay? So I'm keeping one closed just as an experiment. I probably should take half of that out, quite frankly. Why take the chance of... But quite frankly, it never got air anyway, any bubbles coming out. So that's why I'm taking a safe chance with this because... The balloon never got air, and when I popped it open, it smells just like wine. And what I'm thinking is, I could make wine concentrate out of this, and then tell people to just put water sugar in it, shake it, and they have double the amount of wine for half the price, quite frankly. This is not a bad idea, but then others will copy. Anyway, this is an experiment by Felice. Maybe... I should get a patent on this, huh? I don't think so. I don't think you could. All right. And here we go. Thank you for watching. So you know today's date. So I dated it back from when it first started the fermentation to 11 5th. So it's two months and four days. So I'm going to put 11 5 over here. So I know the second batch of uh, step two of fermentation and see what goes on. Thank you for watching. Okay, so here I put the date, okay? From 9, 9 through 11, 5. Okay, we already saw the progression of step one. It was in the bucket, okay? And now step two, it's in bottles. And I'm using the same theory with balloons. Uh, and I'm taking a chance, okay? I'm taking a chance. Like over here, there's not a whole lot of room for bubbles to come out because it's not in the center exactly. But I don't expect anything to come out anyway. And over here, it's totally, totally hit. Totally, no, 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 no room for air to come out. I could pop it once a day, but I don't think I need to because of what you saw happened. Uh, the balloon on the bucket never even got a tinge of air in it. And it, yet, it fermented without yeast and without sugar. Thank you for watching.